I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question from test paper on quadratic equations and I hope this will clear many concepts about this topic. The question here is you are given the graph of y equals to 2 times x plus 1 whole square minus 6. The vertex is minus 1 minus 6 right and stretch factor of 2 correct. Explain how you can estimate the solution of 2 times x plus 1 whole square minus 6 equals to 2. Justify your solution algebraically, right? So you have to do two things here. First, you need to explain how you can estimate the solution for this equation equals to 2. And second, whatever answer you get here, you have to justify that answer algebraically. So you can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now here is how we can do it. We are given the graph of the function which is 2 times x plus 1 whole square minus 6, the parabola going upwards, right? Now when you say explain how you can estimate solution of this parabola equals to 2. So that means draw a horizontal line at 2, right? So that is the y value. You can clearly see that it crosses at two points on the parabola. So those are the two points which we are looking for. So the x values actually are the solutions, right? So from the graph, we can write down this solution. So the steps are clear to you. Draw a horizontal line, y equals to 2, right? So y equals to 2 intersects parabola at two points, correct? which are the solution right so the solution here is x equals to the value of x which is minus 3 do you see x equals to minus 3 and x equals to this value is 1 x equals to 1 so that is the solution is the solution for the given condition. So that is how uh, you can communicate uh, your explanation. Correct. So that is the first part. And the second part to this is justify your answer algebraically. How are you going to justify it? So what we will do here is we'll just solve this equation, right? That is the justification. So let me uh, try to do it here. Two times x plus 1 whole square minus 6 equals to 2. We'll take 6 to the right side. So we get 2 times x plus 1 whole square equals to 2 plus 6, which is 8. And now you can divide by 2. So when you divide by 2, you get x plus 1 whole square equals to 8 divided by 2, which is 4, right? Now once you've done all that, you can square root. Now if you square root, you get x plus 1 equals 2, square root of 4. Whenever you square root, you have to write plus and minus, so that gives you two values plus and minus 2, right? x plus 1 equals to plus minus 2, that means x equals to, we can say, minus 1 plus minus 2. So those are the two solutions. So if you take plus value, then you get one solution, which is, let me write down here, as I could do minus 1 plus 2 and the other value is minus 1 minus 2 right and that gives you 1 and this gives you minus 3 right so we get x equals to minus 3 and x equals to 1 as our solution just as we found it earlier correct so that confirms that both solutions are exactly same so that is how actually you can do this question I hope you find this question very interesting and important to understand the concepts of this chapter. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.